The PS2 comes standard with extended diagnostics. This is available in the configuration menu, press and hold the hand button. And it's one of the parameters at the end, so most likely go backwards in the menu system and you'll see extended diagnostics. By default, this parameter is turned off. You have on one, which provides one threshold per diagnostic. On two is two thresholds and on three is three thresholds per diagnostics. Think of them as green, yellow, and red warning lights. Diagnostic A is the partial stroke test that you can perform. B is the deviation, whether the valve is deviating from the original initialized state. C is the leakage detection. D is the stiction. And E is the dead band. F is the zero shift. If the valve is shifting off the 0% position, perhaps due to process buildup or valve seat wear, the PS2 can detect, detect that and indicate that to you. The same goes for the open and stop. The PS2 has a temperature sensor and it can trigger when that temperature reaches below a certain threshold or above a certain threshold. The number of valve strokes is detected and you can have the PS2 indicate when a number of valve stroke has been reached. The same goes for changes of direction. These are good maintenance alarms to give you an indication of the wear and tear of the valve. Position average is a diagnostic that is detecting the entire process loop, not just the valve assembly itself, because it records its position average based on a time base that you provide. And if for some reason, upstream or downstream from the process valve is causing the positioner to control that process in a different location off its average, it can indicate that to you. Again, an indication of something's going on with the process loop. Since the PS2 is continuously monitoring your valve position, performance, these extended diagnostics can alert you when it senses something wrong. And because you have multiple thresholds, it can alert you before it adversely affects your process. These are just indicators. So when a diagnostic is active into an alarm, the positioner is working the best to its ability to control your process. So don't turn these on thinking it's going to stop controlling. It's going to perform as best as it mechanically and physically can. Also utilize these indicators as your maintenance program to alert you to which valves need attention rather than servicing valves that perhaps don't have any issues. These diagnostics alarms like number of valve strokes and changes of direction can alert you when it re exceeds your mechanics um, thresholds of O-rings, for example, and your actuator. So using these extended diagnostics is a good way to keep your plant running before at a, a problem persists that adversely affects your process.